And today we have the Fish Mac. Fish Mac OP? Nope. Fish Mac. Which is what it's going to be called. Yeah, yeah, it's called the Fish Mac. So this is it's really similar to, to Lady Brown where you know it's able to stay really far into the robot, right? And it's mounted uh, as a two bar on the front of the robot. And it's able to like swing around and you know score. And we can show that right here. See, it basically swings around. Oh, yes. It grabs onto the on the ring there. With just a couple like standoffs and like, we should probably call this the fish mech then, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a fish, it's like a fish net, fish mech. Like fish mech. So probably if you don't call it a fish mech, you're kind of a loser, right? So yeah, they grab onto the ring by its side, right, and they pull it yeah. off of the hook just like that, and then they slap that onto the onto the wall. And it you comes can kind of down. imagine how it would be like impossible to do that with two. Which is why Lady Brown. Uh, it's it's A tier, I'd awesome. say. And as and Lady Brown is an S tier, so and yeah, we have Robot. 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 Oh, we're getting up close to the robot. Oh no, I can see they clearly use heat gun. Don't use heat gun, just bend it with your hand. We used heat gun. And it's bent. And it's bent. That's what heat guns are supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's unevenly bent on the it's, bottom. Yeah, okay, technically, technically, so is ours. Yeah, put something on top. I talked about this in another video. If you just have like a little a plastic, plastic piece, is what a lot of people do, and they just have it go atop their their the pre roller, then oh, then it just view. stops the ring from falling out. Yeah. And so right sure here. Yeah. So basically, you could you, you could put it right here on this layer here, and then you can just put it uh a, like towards all the way till like the the first hook right and then that keeps your uh, your ring from falling back out yeah another thing though is you don't really want to mount your crossbar as high as you did because the farther away you mount it from your drive base frame the less actual support it gives so you can you can easily mount that a few like in like an inch down or something and then and then it'd be just more structurally sound and fit everything just as nice no yeah. pressure regulator. You're just snitching on yourself. Yeah. Also, cut your cut your uh, drivetrain shafts. Cut these shafts, and also use screw joints. It's not using screw joints on some of them. Yes. Yes, that one too. Um, you have an inertial sensor that's plugged in. Hey. Well, also, like, uh, I think there's. <laughs> I think his drive is bending. I'm gonna be real. And it's because you mounted your cro wait. You have four crossbars. Look at like, look at it. this is this clearly bending. If you look at this part here and that part here, it's clearly bending. Wait, wait, wait. go back to the underneath part. Do they have they have four total crossbars? You don't need that. Look, okay, but the problem is none of these crossbars actually do much. Like actually, do oh, much. Yeah. none of them are going across the whole way. That's why you're driving bending. You need to okay. Your crossbars need to go across the whole robot for them to actually work. Because otherwise, yeah, the middle will sack in, and the two sides will just be like this. You really only have one crossbar, and it's the one that's pretty all far. Your rope back all the way up here, and it up. So that's why your crossbar has been, or your drive base has been. That's no good. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Wow. Fix that up. Wow. Red robot. Red robot. Red robot. Red. It sticks out so Red far. Red. That sticks out so far. It's gotta be like eight holes. Well, yeah, I mean, so does ours. It just has to flip up. Does it flip up? Does it piss Yeah, there's flips up. It, yeah, I mean, well, it might not have pissings, but look, it's up. They okay. have China layout on their drive bay. True, China layout on the drive gear. Yeah. Uh, their radio's They're so definitely, high. It's too high. You're going to run into the thing. You're gonna yeah, I would move it down. I would just move it down like two holes or three holes, or and you'd be fine. You didn't spin up sanded down our radio because it was too tall sanded your radio down yeah it, up. it was too high that cannot that like, cannot be good for it no it wasn't no but it was just like barely out so we sanded it down like yeah i so also little. fix your battery placement F are that. those just clips yeah they're clips you. and also this this motor has got to be like three holes outside it's, it's gonna be on the ground and you're gonna be so <laughs> sad when you hear the screeching of the motor every time you try to intake I remember in our, our qualification matches um I, it, it's it, 
it's Jack on Discord. It's five something. But yeah, his motor fell out, and it was just screeching the entire time. <laughs> can can he not move this with the inside and just like face it outwards? Probably can. Yeah, yeah. I would. I would recommend that. P- please do something to the lines of that. Don't don't keep it out here. That's so that's or, so painful. Or someone someone will remove it for you during a match, probably. <laughs> they will remove it for you. I'm gonna give it a B tier. Yeah. All the right. Brick update. The brick. <laughs> a brick. Do you think the brick can win a tournament? Can the brick win worlds? Uh I don't know what region they're in, so maybe. I mean, once this thing gets into some... the corner, it's never getting out. Like, not even when, when if they try to get out, they're gonna be stuck in the corner. Yeah, he... your robot's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you I just... would try to stay two steps ahead. At least take off some of the five wides. You got. Hey, maybe to. they're like trying to be two steps ahead right now. Maybe, maybe don't use any more five wides. <laughs> maybe don't. Can I get some advice on how to fix this, please? Oh, easy. Uh, yeah. So, basically, oops. Basically, what you want to do is like do like a screw joint or whatever for on both of these ends, right? On both of these C channels, you want to attach a standoff and a shaft collar here, right? And that way, and then you can like rotate the standoff on the shaft collar here, like up and down. Put another standoff here, and just go across on this, and then you'll have a tensioner. It's gonna be like a variable tensioner. Yeah. And then you just stand it up, and then you're good to go. Yeah. But, yeah, if you want to know what that looks like, just go to uh, – oh, never mind. Right We're good. Right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Just like that. Would, That's I a variable tension. making – instead of the standoff, make it free spinning. Because, well, that – I feel like that intake's just going to unscrew the standoffs. Um, But, yeah, just make it like free spinning spacers, and then it also reduces friction. Yeah, so I mean, when this, so when that OT goes up, this is gonna get pulled further towards the front, and that tensions the keeps the the chain tensioned. Thank you, thank yes, you, Ben, for helped. giving uh, for giving him the help here. Gracias. And three one three three one B. I have some advice on how to fix this. So what do we need to fix here? Oh, oh, clearly, I mean, fix. It looks... I'll get sp- uh, speeding it up helps a lot because it's yes. triple to four. Of speeding it up will let the ring be more off of the robot and then it will just dunk it on so just yeah. speed it up and, and I would think it would just work yeah I mean I think the people in the in, in this thread is doing a great job to help him help him though so I mean if you guys ever have any questions just you know join the server make a thread just like post the robot rating and uh, make a thread and people will help you yes don't be a robot <laughs> that's a motorcycle bro that's not a robot <laughs> for their <laughs> bike yeah, S tier probably. Right? S tier probably, yeah. S tier. Bam, bam. It's color story, or not color story. It's uh, automatic redirect. Mm. With color sensor. I've seen it. it. Works very well. Yeah, I just see it now. I'm gonna give it an A tier. Consistent. Redid yeah. most of the. <laughs> Wait, rebuild. We got the Kiwi rebuild. Oh, let's. And Wait, we finally get this. Good. And we finally get to see his thing at work. It's yeah, like, but the only thing, right, yeah. is you still have everything connected with metal instead of zip ties. But that, but you haven't heard this video yet. So we haven't heard. He hasn't heard the earlier video either. Heard it, when, when is that video coming out? Isn't it like middle of every day? So. Yeah, so it'll be soon. Yeah, so in four days you'll you'll see. Also, zip tie these well, <laughs> these to the the C channels, please. By the time you're seeing this, Kiwi, go back like. Two videos, and then we talk about your robot. Well, we talk about his robot every video, pretty much. Yeah. Dude, keep posting your robot. Sister team spot in progress. That's just a drivetrain, but let's write the drivetrain. Oh, no, that that's also an intake. And like what we said earlier, yes. another robot about yeah. intakes, just move it back, hard top it higher, so it's not like literally on the ground. It's facing up. Also, cross beam, probably. Yeah. All right. Oh, and also, yeah. how are you gonna uh, get a goal? You have a three wide back. Yeah, you're not picking up a goal. Yeah, that cross beam also. Uh, when I was saying you only have one cross beam, that back cross beam doesn't count because if it's at the very back of your robot, it's not doing anything anyways. Try a good way to test is literally just when you build your drive base, try to twist it. 
Yeah. Well, this is an example of like good bracing. This is very clean. Yes. They have two high strength axles in the middle. On the bottom. And yeah. then yeah. And then yeah, it looks like very sort of a very, very clean robot. I can't wait to see like how it turns out. I'm gonna give this an A tier. I'm gonna give it an A tier also. Me and my team are first year robotics. Hear anything we can do. We should do what we can do. We should do. Okay, you made your drive base way too long. Like, you see, you have your... No, it's you way too wide. Your... It's way too wide and way too long. But honestly, I wouldn't worry about that right now. I'd worry about getting a working robot first. So, I mean, I feel like this... I feel like the safest way to do is to do, like, a really high-torque compression hood. What do you think about that? Because like, I see that's what they're, doing, they're going for right now. Is like, they're going to go under. And then I just add, like, a really high... To- uh, high pressure, like high compression hood, so that just presses the ring on very consistently. Uh, I mean, you don't really need that much pressure. We have like just two of those, like they're very thin black rubber yeah. bands, and yeah, but and just like more, more pressure than like reg, like than like what you see regularly on like other uh, hoods, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much it. I think I think yeah. you guys would do good. Oh, for a more vertical hood, you mean? Yeah, yeah, for a more vertical one. I mean, if Derek... you need less because it gives more like direct. So... Well, I would still give it. I would still tell them to do more because that's just safer. And also, because you aren't going to run a a flap super fast, so you can add more torque onto it, just make it safer. Derek, bam! Wait, Derek did a full read. Yeah. Uh, didn't he have Lady Brown have a redirect? No, he's Lady Brown. He's Everyone's Lady, Lady Brown. Brown. Everyone's Lady Brown, guys. Guys, if you do a unique design that works semi well, you'll get S tier. This is getting an A tier, and that's it.